What side proposition has joined together in beautiful holy matrimony? Let us tear asunder in the opposition. <laughs> We're going to do this through themes, three themes. Firstly, whose purview is it? Secondly, will it have any effect if it is the government's purview? And finally, is specialization good? And if so, how does the motion affect it? So let's explore these three themes. So firstly, whose purview is it? What we show you on Opposition today is that we don't think it's fair that you have to lose weight in order to graduate. We think there are individuals affected by obesity who, whether it be a genetic or not, that are going to have to make the choice at some point whether they're going to study for their math test or whether they're going to study by working out for their PEE test. We think that's an unfair choice. We show you in the second Opposition speech that you cannot join these two domains. That there are individuals that are you know, differently specialized for different things, whether based on their genetics or their interests. And we don't think that forcing football players to take calculus or forcing nerds to take PE is a good idea. We think there are fundamentally different domains, and not to you know, go back, go into this Hollywood BS high school movie where there are the jocks and the nerds. But the fact, the fact of the matter is that different people are suited for different domains. And that's how specialization of human knowledge works. Now, I'm going to get into that a little later, but the fact is, and some individuals are good at calculus, some individuals are, are good at PE. Some are good at both. Let them take both if they want. But ultimately, it's the choice of the individual rather than the purview of the government. Second, will it have any effect? The answer we've provided to you on opposition today is no. That obesity is a larger societal problem. That PE does not affect the price of Big Macs. And that eating Big Macs will harm your health regardless of whether you have PE or not. We see that government has this radical <coughs> chain here of, you know, we'll force them to do it, therefore they won't participate, therefore they will do it later in, life, later in life. And we've broken both links in that chain for you on opposition. We've shown you that forcing them to take the class does not necessarily make them participate. In a, in a POI about Calm, for example, about the career life management course. We showed you furthermore that in the, the second link in the chain is broken. We showed you that forcing them to participate does not ensure that they will be healthy later in life. That some individuals will resent it. That teenagers are rebellious. That maybe teenagers like Big Macs. In any case, he, in, in fact, the government <coughs> minister in the second uh, prop even acknowledged the break in the first chain. He told us in his second speech in response to a POI, well, maybe it will be tailored towards success. And ultimately, this is the same problem with Western education that's kept Western education behind China and Japan. No fail policies in high school. The issues government has talked to you about today, they're spitting in their own faces, shooting themselves in the foot by continuing this policy if they did really case shift later in their speeches to having a really easy to pass class. We're not sure what their model is anymore on opposition. Finally, <coughs> is specialization good and how does, the, how does the motion affect this? And ultimately, you can learn everything Isaac Newton discovered, except calculus probably, in a class, everything he discovered about physics in about three, four hours. The fact is, we know much, much more now than we ever have before in society. And that to truly push the boundaries of human knowledge, you cannot be a, a jack of all trades. You don't have that many gigabytes in your brain. So what we see is that you can be a physicist in high school, you can know everything Newton did, but you can't develop anything new in four hours. In order to truly <coughs> push the boundaries of human knowledge, in order to contribute to some, something to society with your intellect, you have to be specialized. And government have ignored specialization today. They've shown us no response. They've tried to tell you, well, doing PE will improve your grades in other subjects. We, there are scientific studies that show this. But ultimately, if there are individuals that are forced to choose between studying for math and going for a run, and that going, not going for the run will end their high school career, hold them back from university, we don't want individuals forced, being forced to choose to go for a run. So what side proposition today of joined together in holy matrimony, both the union of you know, calculus and PE, we have torn asunder. The union between forced participation later in life, we have torn asunder. Thank you.